Hi there. So today I am heading back up to Cherry Valley Gardens and I am going to get some plants for my mailbox bed. I, usually in the summertime I plant my mailbox bed with red, white, and blue in honor of my little brother who is in the military stationed over in Germany. And I usually don't do that until, I don't know, like halfway through May or so. I usually do blue, uh, Victoria blue salvia, red big begonias, and either white euphorbia or white geraniums I've done in the past. Uh, but the other day I decorated my front porch with some spring plants so like pansies, stock, ranunculus, uh, alyssum, and I've been enjoying it so much. And I've also been enjoying watching all of our neighbors take walks down the street. They, like we have tons of people that uh, take walks down in our development. And I thought, you know what? I really wanna plant out my mailbox bed with some red, white, and blue, probably pansies. And that will be something nice for the neighbors to look at when they go for walks. So I'm gonna head up to the greenhouse and get a flat of pansies. And I thought, take you guys along with me. I am on my lunch break. So let's go lunch break, shopping and gardening. red for sure this one looks like it's a mix with like yellow in it so I think I want to go with this one enough if I need two flats. I might get two. Alright, I'm gonna get two flats. I think that will work really well. Oh, she's got some cute little planters up here. Some ranunculus. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. Look at that yellow one. Boy, the ones I bought the other day are just giving me so much joy. Look at these little planters she's got. So cute. Oh, look at that one. It's kind of like the one I planted up at home. It's only 12 bucks. It's great. There's like five plants in there. They're so pretty. She's filling it up. All right, let's see what else they got. Oh, she's brought. She brought some of her tropicals up here. She's filling right up. Got the mandevilla. 
uh, Diplodenia. I can't ever tell these apart. Diplodenia and Mandevilla, they all kind of look the same to me. That yellow is really pretty. Some mandevilla and trellises. This is all new from last time I was here. She's filling it right up. Hanging baskets up top. It's so pretty in here. Oh my gosh, you guys, the other day I was in here and I was, I was like dead set on the fact that these were chickens over here. <laughs> and then I got up close and I was like, oh wait. They're ducks, they're definitely ducks. And your guys' comments were cracking me up. I love that geranium. Look at that. So pretty. Oh, they're all in a little chunk in the corner. Yeah, so there are chickens. Those are the chickens. And then it looks like she, maybe she took the ducks out. Cause these are all chickens in here. <laughs> oh my word, you guys were cracking me up with your comments. You're like, oh, I just, those are ducks. <laughs> and then I finally realized it. I'm like, wait a minute. That's definitely not a chicken, that's a duck. Um, but there were both in there. Um, anyway, let, back to the plants. I seen these the other day and I didn't even notice the beautiful planter. It's like this brown, almost like a maroonish color planter. Looks so good with the, that plant combination. There's really not anything else I need, but I did want to check out. Oh, the snapdragons are blooming. This is that. Um, what was the mix? Twinny. I think it's called Twinny Mix. So that's what they're gonna look like here. Peach, yellow, pink. Oh, those are pretty. Wow. And I just ended up getting the peach ones. So those aren't really completely blooming out yet, but these are so pretty. Let's go over here. Oh my goodness. Wow, oh, that's so pretty. I love snapdragons. Ranunculus galore. There's Lizzie's cup again. <laughs> if she loses it, we'll know where to tell her to look. <laughs> it's kind of like where's Waldo in the greenhouse. We're always finding Lizzie's cup. Wow, so pretty. Osteospermum and then Brachiacomb. That orange and purple look good together. Oh, she's got this section filled up with all the house plants. I think last time we were here, they were back in the greenhouse. That she hadn't brought them up here yet. But it's looking really tropical. 
Oh man, look at that plum cat spring satin. So pretty. What is that? Nectarine flavor top. Wow. Look at that bicycle basket. It's so pretty. Yellow primrose, white alyssum, some pink namesia, orange ranunculus, more pink namesia. That begonia is pretty. Pansy. Oh, a little impatient. I love impatience. So cute. Wow, this is really growing up too since last time I was in here. Wow. Stuff is putting on some nice size. Really pretty. All the hosta are starting to leaf out. I did want to maybe look through the hellebore because I might want to pick up another couple of kinds of that. Um, and if you guys can tell by my voice, I have been a little bit sick lately. So I'm kind of fighting a cold that's been attacking our community. <laughs> Everybody's getting it, I swear. Uh, Robert Frost, that's pretty. Boy, these has to have just really leafed out since last time I was here. Which reminds me, I gotta water mine. I bought three of these Liberties when I was in here. I gotta water them. I'm saving them in the garage. All right, I ended up just getting the two flats and it's pretty excited. I found a gift card in my wallet. So I ended up using my gift card and I still have like $6 left on it. <laughs> Get them planted. This is my mailbox bed, and you can see I still have the leftover uh, Victoria Blue Salvia in there. And this has been coming back for me every year, so I leave it like this. Um, so I think I'm just gonna come in here and cut it off right down here at the bottom because you can see uh, it's starting to throw on new growth down there. So if I go and chop this off right here, these will start to come off and grow some new Victoria Blue Salvia. Then I'll also come in here and pull out all the weeds and get it nice and cleaned up. This is a poppy that keeps coming back. I had poppies out here a f many years ago and uh, that one just, it keeps like coming back for some reason, even though I keep digging it out, it just keeps coming back. So I need to dig that out and maybe replant it somewhere else, but we'll get this cleaned up and then we'll get the pansies planted. Got my Kleenex out here because my nose is just running like crazy. I will just chop these right off. And these back ones here have come back two years in a row. Even know if I'll need to plant any this year. It'll come back.
salvia right there. It's already starting to pop up. So by the time the pansies are done, the salvia will take over. I'm gonna go inside and change my shirt. Number one, because it's getting really warm out here and I've got a sweater on. And number two, because it's kind of short and when I bend over, I feel like it's too short. <laughs> so I'm gonna go inside and change real quick and then I'll come back out. All right, that's much better. Got my red, white, and blue shirt on anyway. It's more appropriate. <laughs> Let's keep going. Wow, it looks better already with just that stuff cleaned out of there. Um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna go, we'll mix it up a little bit. Usually I put the blue in the back because that's where the blue salvia is, but we'll go red, white, and we'll put the blue in the front. We've got 12, so one,
that looks so good. I love how it turned out. Before I say bye, I did want to show you that some of my daffodils have started to bloom. And they're looking really cute with the stock. So I'm really glad I put that in. And then give you a little update on my planters. They are looking great. Super beautiful as ever. And that one's looking great too. These are still looking really nice. Hey buddy. Hi. Were you snoozing? You're so cute. I know, I'm almost done. Hi. Uh, but I wanted to show you real quick too before I say bye. My daffodils and hyacinth down here are looking really, really great. So let's take a little walk down here. I'm so glad I put these in. And if you look from this way, is that pretty? I'm really happy with how it turned out. And Nate and I, that's our bedroom right there. I look out this window and it's like a straight shot right here through these, through this arbor. And it's just a lot of fun to look at out here. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out with me today out at my mailbox. And special shout out to all of you uh, veterans that have served in the military uh, for my freedom and for the freedom of our country, all of the active duty, and a special um, thank you to the ones who gave everything, gave their lives and for my freedom and for our country's freedom. Um, and an extra special thank you to my little brother, Michael. I love you. I miss you so much. I can't wait to see you the next time you come home. And uh, it's going to be an awesome, awesome day when we get to, to spend time with you and see you again. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you just have a wonderful day and you enjoyed being out here today with me at the mailbox bed. But hopefully we'll see you another time if you decide to poke on another movie. All right, have a great day.